What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? Y'all already know what time it is. It's real talk. Diva time, okay? Real talk, real talk. Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday, whatever day the video goes up, it's that day. So I hope y'all have like a really great day today. Me, look, it's it's our Sunday. It's Sunday. So, you know, I have to do this video days prior to make sure that I have time to edit it and get it out for you guys for real talk. But yes, it's Sunday. I'm sitting here relaxing. I did a couple of wig videos today, just two. That's why I'm already like, you know, done up or what have you. But yes, you guys, I hope you all have like a really great Sunday or whatever day that you're watching this, which will probably be a Wednesday, okay? So let's just be for real. But other than that, so this is going to be the second week of training for me at the job. I already went to my assigned destination, like the assigned center where I'm going to be working at, which is the main headquarters. Um, I will say this. There was four of us for that particular department. You know, like I said, there was different departments at the orientation um, who were starting, you know, but they had to go to where they went. Some of them were medical assistants. Some of them were like administrative assistants or receptionists. Um, So each day was different departments. And on day five, Friday, which was the fifth day, we were all to go to our destination spots to just continue our training. You know what I'm saying? So when we went there on Friday, I did not know we was going to get out at 12, which was great. I like surprises, especially if you're going to get out early. But there was four of us for that particular department, which was scheduling. And well, there was only three of us there. And one of, let me tell you something. I don't mind being chatty and talking to people. You know what I'm saying? Because we all like to talk. We all like to get to one, know one another. But lady, could you just please be quiet? We had one particular person. Now, mind you, we was getting out at 12. We didn't get out until 1227 because this one lady that was part of the three of us she just don't know when to stop talking. When I say she just don't know when to stop talking, she's talking about everything, everything under the sun. She told the lady when she came downstairs to get us, she was like, oh, I didn't know you could wear jeans here. I just went shopping last night. She explained how much money she spent shopping. It was $300, okay? And what store she went to, which was Lane Bryant, okay? And how she bought all these matching shirts to match her matching blouses, because that's what she used, wear blouses, matching blouses to match her slacks and so forth. And had she known that, she wouldn't have said, she would have saved her money. I mean, she just kept talking and talking. That was the first person and she told us to, mind you, we met with three people. She told it to all three people, girl. Okay. And then she was saying how, you know, her son lives in like this rural area where there's really not much going on. So she has him, she sends him over Walmart Plus and they deliver his food. I did not know there was a Walmart Plus to deliver his food, but you know, I know it now. Um, She told us about her dog. You know, she started taking out her phone and showing pictures. I was like, I was really tempted to show pictures of Penny, but I was like, girl, grow up. This is already, this is training. We, we don't want to be here longer. Then as we were sitting across from one another, she was like, oh, I can't wait to afford a new tattoo. And I was like, okay, all right. I just was like, oh, okay. And this point me and the one girl that was there we just kept looking at each other just like I think we was giving the eye contact like we were saying to each other with our eyes like we wish she would STFU that's that's what we was wanting but other than that it's it's you know it, other than that it was okay the two days Saturday and Sunday seemed like it just went by too fast because tomorrow's already Monday and like like I'm gonna just be for real with y'all I don't even know if I could do this like you really want me to be there for three months in the office to train because that's what it seems like I don't know if, if you do better than that if you if you if you do better within three months or if you catch on quick I don't know you might could go home and work from home quick I just hope so because I do not want to be, I don't want my ear to be talked off. I don't, I don't want to do, listen, I just want to be in my house. Okay. But other than that, it was okay. You know, hold on guys. So I also got me a new little setup going on right here where I normally do my videos. I went and I purchased a new desk from Amazon. And I think I did tell you guys that I purchased a new desk. The one that I was using for like the past few years was this pink one from Ikea and I absolutely loved it. It was just the length and the width was just perfect. So this is a little bit more slender, but it's an L shape and it's a glass one. And it's not like one of those big, huge office shape ones. This is for like a small space. And that's what I wanted it for because when I do get to work from home, I have two more monitors that I will need space for. So the, I'll put them alongside right here. And then my main monitor where I edit my videos and so forth is right here to the left of me. Um, but I really do like it. It was super easy to put together. And it was $109 on Amazon or on Wayfair. It was $117. It comes in two colors, gold trimming. And I think last was gold trimming. And I think the other one was like a silver trimming. But I went for the gold because my entire room is like gold. I kind of like did my room over. You know, it's already in incorporated with gold and silver. So I kind of removed some things and brought some things up that was already in my house. You know, I have this thing where I like to do arts and crafts a lot and I will make a lot of things and then sometimes I get tired of them and I'll just store them away. So I didn't really have to buy anything new except for the desk. I did buy a new comforter set, which is this deep purple because I thought deep purple and gold look just great together. And I just, I did remove the silver in my room because it was gold and silver with dark mahogany brown furniture. So now I made it into just gold and like this deep purple, which I think is beautiful. And I did buy like a new mirror and rest 
rest of the things I already had. And then like a new rug, I did buy like a new little area rug. So I am going to do like a room tour. I'm just waiting for like one more piece of furniture to come. And then I'll do a room tour with you guys and show you what new stuff that I do have in this area. But other than that, this video is going to be sponsored by Dosia Perfumes. If you see, I have four other great perfumes right here. And if you haven't known, I have showcased them twice in the past, which is amazing. They have very nice, affordable scents. You can get them for $29 a month a subscription. And if you don't like something, you can easily return it back for either a refund or an exchange. These are inspired scents. So if you like expensive perfume, but your wallet does not want expensive perfume, then check out Dossier. Now, the ones that I have tried out in the past videos, these were like ones that I already had. Like I had the original authentic, authentic perfume and I got the inspired one to see the difference. I'm not really sure which one I ordered this time because I can't remember. It was like a month ago. So yeah, this one. Okay. So I do have one. I do have one of them that was an expired scent um, in my collection of perfumes already. Um, and this one here, I'm going to show you guys so they all come in like these really cute chic boxes and they also come with a stock card that tells you what the inspired scent is they're 29 dollars a month you get a nice size bottle of perfume which is 1.7 fluid ounces and they're very chic so they're not going to take up a lot of space magnetic top okay very nice and chic and they do have unisex and they also have male and female perfumes and colognes so this one right here i'm going to get the one that's inspired by it and then we're going to get into this real talk video because i know y'all are here for it and yeah i do have some things that I do need to say, okay? And these are inspired scents by designer perfume. Yeah, this one is called Ambery Vanilla, and it's inspired by the designer scent of Yves Saint Laurent's Lac Opium. Okay, so let me tell you about this perfume. It's very strong. It's divine. Absolutely love this perfume, and it's just very chic. The bottle is chic. I just love this perfume, but it's very strong. It has a very vibrant, potent scent to it. So first, I'm going to spray the original Lac Opium, and I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to take the Ambery Vanilla, which is the inspired scent, and I'm gonna put it right here on my wrist. Now remember, this is the authentic one, which is very strong. This perfume smells so good. And here we have the inspired scent. Now for me personally, I'm gonna say this is like 85%, 85 to 90% dead smack on to black opium. Black opium has a very strong scent and it's probably something that's really hard to replicate. It does smell so close to it. Like, so I'm gonna say like 90% of it smells like black opium. If you haven't ever tried black opium, then I'm pretty sure you wouldn't notice it, but it's not very noticeable, but it's very dead smack on. So I will give Ambery Vanilla a definite 10, okay? A thumbs up because they do smell very similar. Similar, except for black opium may be a little bit more potent than the actual inspired scent. So the next one that I had, I don't even know how to pronounce this one. This one is called Gourmand Patchouli. Patchouli. Gourmand, Gourmand Patchouli. Okay. And this is inspired by Terry Mugler's Angel, which I also have. And this perfume is actually, as you can see, like a yellowish color. So it does represent this one very well. I'll tell you about this perfume. My daughter bought this for me um, a while ago. I absolutely love this perfume. It is so strong. This is the one that I told you guys that if you spray it on your clothes, you're going to smell it after you wash your laundry. It has a very strong scent and even though it says it's for women only, I really think like men and women could wear this. It just has like this very uh, like feng shui vibe. I can't really explain it. It's like for someone who loves like, it's like a, like who loves Egyptian musk. It just has like one, one of those smells because I can't really describe it but Terry Mugler's Angel is definitely one that I would definitely need in my collection. So let's see how this Guman Patchouli holds up to the scent. Okay, so you know what? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, I'm gonna give it to Dossier. This Guman Patchouli, or however you say it, this smells 100. 
and 10% close to Terry Mugler's Angel. This definitely smells like the real deal. This smells like the real deal. I can't really tell you what is in this, but this perfume is amazing and this one is too. So you can definitely get away with this one right here. Patchouli, 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 patchouli. Now these two, I don't have any on hand to show you, but I know this, this scent very well because I have gotten this one in my, my, my early 20s and 30s so many times, which is by Chloe. This is inspired by Chloe Eau Perfume. And this one is Floral Peony. And if you guys do not know the scent of Chloe, it was so popular, like, like in early 2000s, I loved Chloe. This one is called Floral Peony. And it smells so damn good. This smells delicious. Like, this smells so divine. I'm gonna trade this on myself tomorrow so I can smell really, really good at work, boo, okay? The last but not least is another Inspire one, which is called Fruity Neroli. I think that's how you say it. Fruity Neroli. And this is inspired by Giorgio Armani's My Way. Now, I have never smelled Giorgio Armani's My Way. Ooh, let's see. Let's see. We're gonna try it out. Fruity Neroli. I think that's how you say it. Ooh, now this, hold up. I'm trying to see which one do I like the most out of these two scents that I don't have on hand of my own originals. I was really feeling floral peony, but fruity neroli, neroli smells, it smells good. This one smells good. This smells really, really good. This really does smell good. Okay, hello. So hop on over to Dossier. I will link everything down below. Like I said, they're $29. And if you don't like the scent, you can easily send it back and you can either exchange it for a refund or another item. But they have really great inspired designer scents. And I think like for the most part, I haven't been disappointed. And the ones that I do have in the original authentic ones, they do compare very close to the inspired scent. So check out Dossier. So let's get into this real talk. Bro. Okay, guys. So as I was saying, there was something I wanted to say to you guys. Now, first of all, last week I did do a real talk and I posted up about friendship, about uh, my friendship. Okay, basically I said I'm going to ride solo. Now, there was one comment in the video and I'm not really sure why I'm going to be explaining myself because I really don't feel like I need to have to. But if you don't know me personally, then I don't feel like you had any right to say this about me. And the young lady, I did delete her video, her comment because it just was ridiculous at that point. But she did state that um, I don't give anybody a chance. I'm too quick to cut somebody out. Cut somebody out. I don't give nobody a chance. We all need friends. Friends are important. Now, for one, let me tell y'all this. When I come on here and tell you anything about a friendship or relationship that I've been had with somebody, nine times out of ten, I've told y'all way after many things have happened. I just don't pop off and just get rid of and dismiss the person just that quick, okay? I do give them grace. I give them ample enough chances. I give them the benefit of the doubt. By the time you hear from me about this person or this relationship or this friendship that I have, it's because it's already ran its course and I've allowed this person to do something to me or say something to me on numerous occasions, okay? And by the time I get fed up, it's like, girl, you should have been got fucking fed up. Why are you sitting here allowing somebody to treat you like that? So I'm gonna just say this. I don't really feel like I need to explain myself, but I'm not the one to pop off easily and cuss anybody out easily because I give people plenty of grace and I feel like this. I've given you plenty of grace. You are not going to constantly get some smart mouth with me, come in my home and insult my home, saying that my, my wall looks like a shrine to my son. And, you know, I accepted that from you and I allowed you to apologize to me for that. But then it's just like, you just don't never stop. You just keep saying constant smart shit. And then by now, it's like, you know what, April, girl, let's leave the friendship alone. And no, I didn't leave the friendship alone just that quick and easy because I really did like this person as a friend and also as a sister to me. And I thought we got along really well. We were both silly and goofy, but just, you know what I'm saying? Certain things I just didn't appreciate. Like, I don't feel like you need to disrespect me by saying little smart shit or underhanded shit to me and think that it's okay and then feel like oh well I'm gonna do this whenever I want to because if I allowed you to do it once then twice then three times then girl you're gonna keep doing the nonsense to me and I don't feel like I'm gonna deal with that for too much longer so no I don't pop off easy I give a person grace and ample enough chances whether it be a family member or a friend to me so if you don't know me personally and you have never spent time with me times with me then just shut the f up okay because you don't know me and shut up Okay, just shut up. Now we're gonna get on to this real talk. If you want a real talk about you, you can send me an email to muffin is my lovers2012 at gmail.com. Please put in the subject line real talk, or you can send it to my real talk email, which is April's real talk at gmail.com. Once again, please put in the subject line real talk. So here we go. This person right here, I'm going to tell you they put a title to this. He's he scammed me out of six thousand three hundred and nineteen dollars. Like they said, down to the penny, six thousand three hundred and nineteen. $19 is what this person was scammed out of. This is the title. Hey, everyone. Hello, Muffins. Thank you for reading this email. I feel so stupid even writing this. Please call me Chels. 
Chels, short for Chelsea. I have been close to this guy for a little over six months now, or so I thought I was close with him. We met at a sandwich shop downtown. He kept eyeing me every few days a week at this sandwich shop. It's close by where we both work. So I finally asked him why he kept looking at me, and did he want a picture? I said this in a playful way so he wouldn't think I was being rude and he'd get offended. He said I would love a picture, and I was not expecting that response. So he exchanged numbers to make a long ass story short. Now here's where I am starting to feel stupid. After two months of dating and spending the night with each other, I let him move in with me. I have a one-bedroom apartment, no kids, and I'm in my late 20s. We was doing great. You know, the vibe was there. I was feeling him. You can call him Manny. April, he moved in with his stuff, no furniture. He said he sold it and gave some of it away. I felt like he was really about his business. We go to work every day at the same time. We still work near each other, but he ain't never been to my job, and I ain't never been to his. We would meet at lunch at the sandwich shop, but then he started started acting strange. Manny started, Manny stated we need time apart and that we should start bringing our lunches to work to save money and to also have some space until work is over. I agreed because the shop was not cheap on food and okay if you want space that's cool because I will meet you after work. Let's get to the most recent. It's been really seven months of knowing him. Six of those dating. I moved this guy in and had to put him out because he said I invited him to live with me which meant he don't have to pay anything because I invited him. April, he ain't paid for anything in my place. I pay for groceries, all bills, such as Wi-Fi, cable, streaming services, electricity, water, and gas. I finally got tired of it at the seven-month mark when I realized how much debt he has racked up on me and told him he had to move out. Please tell me why, once he moved out, he stole my bank card and scammed my account out of $6,000. He used my bank card for Airbnb. This was told to me it was not theft because it was his card with his name on it from my account. So I did give him a bank card with his name on it for emergency uses only. And when I told him to leave, I took him from I took the card from him and put it in my purse. I didn't even see him take it out and he has racked up all of those expenses. So now I have to figure out how to go about getting my money back. What would you do in this situation, Chels? So let's see. Hold on. So Chels that invited some 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 stranger that she'd have met and was dating for two months. She invited him to live with her. Okay. He said that because she invited him to live with her, he didn't have to pay for anything because she invited him to live with her. So I guess by the seventh month mark, like she said, she got tired and fed up and put him out. Now, when she put him out, she also requested that he give her her bank card back that she had put his name on in case of emergency uses. And I guess he got the card back when she turned her back and stole the card back out of her bag and racked up some Airbnb bills over $6,000, okay? Now, she out of uh, 6000 what was it, $6,319, because that's what the title said. She out $6,319, and she asking me what to do. She said it's not theft because his name was on the card, which, first of all, here's the thing. Some of y'all women really need to chill the fuck out and get a hobby, okay? And that hobby need not be inviting homeless ass ninjas in your house, okay? Who cannot pay for shit. Now, I don't know whose house or whose house was spending the night because she did say spending the night with each other. So God knows he probably was only spending the night there because she did say he did not come into her place with any type of furniture. Said he sold everything. Now, we don't know how true that is because she didn't see that. She says she thought he was about his business. Well, honey, if you are about your business, then you would know off the rip that if you go to live with somebody nine times out of ten and you're a grown up, you're going to have to pay some bills. You don't call it being invited, okay? Like, I wish some motherfucker would invite me to live with them and I didn't have to pay for shit. Girl, listen, y'all be like, April, where you at? That's a new setup. Oh, it's a new setup, all right. It's at somebody else's house that I ain't got to pay for because they invited me to live with them. And once you invite me over, I'm I'm not leaving until I feel good, goddamn ready to, okay? Period. So she wondering, what should she do now? What would I do in this situation? Well, here's what the fuck I wouldn't have done, uh, Chelsea, Ch Chels, or Chai, or whatever you want to be called. Chels, this is what I wouldn't have done. I wouldn't have moved that homeless bum in my house, okay? Just that quick. After knowing somebody two months, you move them in your house. There's no goddamn way you moving up in here. You best hope that I even give you my address so you know where I live at. You come over. Because you're not even going to spend a night in my motherfucking house. We either going to have to spend a night in a hotel or we're not spending the night at all. Because I don't even like people knowing where I live. Because when people know where you live, they will come out, knock on, ring on your doorbell unexpectedly, uninvitedly, and they want to come and sit on your furniture with their stinking asses and they don't know when to leave. Okay? And that's one thing we don't do here. Because if you ring my doorbell uninvited and unexpected, I will I will answer my door and tell you that I am not here right now. Period. You understand what I'm saying? 
say I will answer my door and let you know that no April's not here right now just like that okay and then I will close the door back so that's the reason why I don't give out my address so willy nilly so freely and on top of that why would you move somebody in you really don't know them you cannot tell me you really know somebody after two months okay and I don't give a damn how long you knew this dude you do not go and put his name on a bank card out of your bank account and he ain't put no funds into that shit because she did not say it was their bank account she said it was hers and she was able to put his name on a debit card or a credit card or a bank card and he was to use it only in case of emergencies well I guess he felt like that was a fucking emergency okay Chels because he was homeless so yeah that was an emergency so he did use it like you intended him for he used it when in case of an emergency and that was a goddamn emergency so now here you are crying you know what let me just say this some women some of y'all women be so desperate and eager to be in a relationship with somebody and y'all don't even know the person what y'all need to be in a relationship with is yourself get to know yourself be in a relationship with God if you believe in God then be in a relationship with him but mainly be in a relationship with yourself so you can get to know one another I have been single for almost four years and let me tell you something it ain't nothing but a fresh a breath of fresh air okay I don't have nobody breathing down my goddamn back irritating me wanting to come over wanting to call me wanting to text me all times of the hour it's a breath of fresh air because I get to know who I am I get to re get to know myself okay and figure out what I like and what I don't like and what I will and will not put up with what I will and will not tolerate with and one thing I will not tolerate is a broke ass motherfucker coming around me trying to be my best friend my friend my man my husband or any of that I am not about to allow that into my life okay and I damn sure ain't gonna be that naive and fucking dick struck to where I'm putting your name on any of my bank cards and telling you here you go sweetheart use this in case of emergency because a bitch like me will have to cut your throat if you even use a dollar out of my dime without my permission okay so that's one thing that I would not do now here's the thing some of y'all be a little bit desperate and don't and feel like y'all y'all need a man y'all go from one relationship to another and I'm not judging nobody but let's be a little bit more mindful out here if you if you are going from one relationship to another please be mindful you know have a little have a little common sense because the world is not the same anymore we got all types of crazy and deranged and unhinged running around out here in these streets okay not even on the streets but they be on the internet telling you all kind of things that they think and know that you want to hear so that way they can get into your good graces and then get a key and then be on your couch or in your bed staying at your house rent free bed free bug free bill free everything free okay to them. Now, I'm not even going to make an excuse for her and say, well, she's in her late 20s and she don't have no kids because that's not an excuse. You should have a, everything should have been a red flag to you. Red flag, red flag, red flag. Great. Y'all go on a lunch. Y'all see each other at the sandwich shop. So big deal. Okay. It's a sandwich shop. People work in the area. I'm pretty sure that he or you was not the first girl that he shacked up with. I don't know. I don't really even know. But what I will say this though to you, Chels, is that you made a huge mistake. And even though for, I ain't even gonna sit here and lie and say $6,000 ain't a lot of money because it's enough money, okay? It's enough money to miss. It's a damn enough money to sit there and cry over. That's for damn sure, okay? That's for damn sure. That's what it is. And I just feel like we need to be a little bit more cautious before we start giving out information, giving out addresses, giving out phone numbers, giving out bank cards, giving out bank accounts, giving out places to stay. Now we got some broke ass ninja who ain't got nowhere to stay and he used that card as she said in the case of emergency. However, she did take it from him and he got it back he took it back so maybe she turned around she left her purse uh, attended to and he went in her purse and took the card so i don't know if you want to call that stealing because it's her word against his word and his name is on that card so it might be a hard case and it might be a little bit hard to, to prove that yeah he took the card and yeah you put it in your purse and yeah you said use this in case of emergencies he would say that was a goddamn emergency because i had nowhere to stay my suggestion and what i would do in this situation i wouldn't be so eager to give my goods away i wouldn't be so eager to give my life away i wouldn't be so eager to give my information away and I damn sure wouldn't be so eager to give my funds away to nobody, okay? That's what I would do. The second thing is what I would do is I would learn how to love myself before loving anybody else. I get it. We all get kind of lonely out there in this world. We all want companionship. Who don't want companionship? Who don't want friendship, okay? That's what I was seeking was friendship, all right? And I did everything that a friend would do for another friend because I felt like as a friend to this particular person, I'm gonna go all out for you. I'm gonna make sure you okay because you're my friend. And I would I would want the same in return if need be, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you disrespect on countless occasions so I had to let you go same thing with her he disrespected on countless occasions that nigga said I was invited so therefore I got to pay for nothing I wish somebody would say something like that to me because I would surely have to throw them out the window this is you're not gonna leave out the door honey today you're gonna leave out this window 
and you better brace, brace yourself for the landing because I'm going to throw you out the second floor window over here, okay? So brace yourself. Get them legs strong because the landing is far. Um, geez, Chels, I hope you do get your funds back. I hope you can prove that he did steal it out your purse. I hope you can prove that it was in use, it, it was, it was in use by him as not authorized by you, okay? And I hope that even if you do get your funds back or some of the back, I hope that this was like a very, a very well lesson learned because some people, some women, y'all be too eager to give y'all information out like that. And I just really don't think that that's cool to do. You know, you have to know your boundaries. You have to know, you have to realize, read the room, bitch, read the goddamn room and figure it out, but never give out your, your, your home address to somebody that you just met and invite them to live in your house. It's like inviting a vampire, okay? Once you invite a vampire in your house, they ain't never going to leave you alone. They're not going to leave. Same thing with a broke-ass ninja, a homeless-ass ninja. You invite him in, he's going to stay. He's going to suck the life and the blood out of you until you can't take no more. So on that note, this is my suggestion. Be smart next time. Be smart. And let's not be so eager. Y'all can give Chels the information or y'all comments in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this real talk. Um, the information for Dosia Perfume will be in the description box below. Check out my other real talk videos. I hope y'all understood where I was coming from with my friendship. Like I said, I really don't need to, to, um, to basically explain myself to anyone, but I'm not, I don't jump off and pop off on people. I don't really understand why anybody would think of me like that. Like, that's what I do because I don't even come across as that type of person, okay? So, for that being said, sometimes people do talk too much and they don't know when to STFU and I'm here to tell you when to do that, okay? Sometimes you need to learn when to STFU. You know that old saying speak when spoken to? Same thing. Same thing. So, I love you all. Stay deep and delicious. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one. I gotta get ready for the work day tomorrow. Yeah, I said the work day. I know. I love you. See you also.